a couple of sequins, even paper wrappers or any wrappers that you've left over from Easter, or even Christmas. And if you look right at the bottom, we've got three beautiful masks that they made earlier on. The first one's a nice yellow one with a smiley face, quite welcoming. The next one is a bit weird. It's blue and red. I'm not sure if it's snarling or growling, but a little bit frightening. And the end one would be ideal for a party or a carnival because it's really colourful and lots of gold stars on it there. But my favourite, because it's a bit of a nautical theme today, has to be this one here. If you have a look, it's a pirate face complete with oh, scars, plasters, goodness. one eye and lots of hair made out of a feather. What do you think, Stuart? It's fantastic. It scared me when I came in. I no, that's me. Twice to know that's it was... a mask. Oh, that's oh, me. Hang on. Mask. I don't know which is worse, actually. <laughs> they're great. They're really good, especially when you pop the balloon. That's the best bit. Now, these aren't the only crew on board our galleon. Oh, no. We've stowed away a choir, too. They're performing a musical all about John Cabot, the man who sailed the Matthew ship from Bristol to North America, setting off 499 years ago last Monday. This is the replica of the Matthew, which I've actually been helping to rebuild and sail. Here are the City of Bristol Boys Choir with an extract from their musical, a song describing how exciting Bristol was in those far off days. Fantastic. How are you all? All right. No one's feeling seasick, are they? No. no, that's good news. Daniel, that solo, were you nervous for that? Um, a bit. Yeah, but you're getting used to it, do you? Yeah. It's great. You've got a beautiful voice. Thanks. Now, look, you performed this musical for the first time this weekend, didn't you? How did it go? It was brilliant. And now we've been asked to sing it in America. Right. And where are you performing it next? We'll be performing it in the dedication of the Matthew. Brilliant. All right. Well, America sounds great, and good luck with it. And the musical Cabot and the premiere of Muppet Treasure Island are just two of a huge variety of events taking place in Bristol for the International Festival of the Sea. Now, as well as the Matthew, there'll be over 700 traditional and classic boats visiting and demonstrations of all sorts of seafaring skills. There's exhibitions, including wildlife photography by the National Geographic magazine, and you can find out more about Pirates too, as one of Britain's experts is giving a talk. Now, the boys' choir are just some of the 1,000 musicians taking part. The festival starts on Friday, and it goes on until Monday. And Friday's news round will have a report from the festival, and there are programmes about it on BBC One and BBC Radio over the bank holiday. Basically, oh. you can't escape it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on Friday we'll be up, up and away with a special Blue Peter live from Heathrow Airport to celebrate its 50th birthday. And we'll be taking you on a VIP tour of the control tower and all the other places the passengers don't get to see. And also that famous royal person. I know who it is, I know it. Don't say, don't say. We'll see you then. Bye! Bye, -bye. But I know who it is. Don't, don't. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for the whole show. Oh, 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 oh you know, my goodness.
Oh, I'm a pirate. Whoa.